Hello viewers, this is Ayana Jai Balan. In this video, we are going to talk about view child and view children in your Angular. Basically, these two are a decorator to access the child component. The view child is to access the, the first child component or single child component. And view children is to access if the parent component having more than one children of same child component then we can access all the component using the view children okay let's get into the implementation and how to do that one i have already created one application uh, for the previous video for the angular routing i am using that same application so now let's see let me get into the adding the new terminal here okay so already i have a student component so it's just having you know student and it will display here so i'm just removing here student students okay uh, and also i have a student detail component I have so I'm just removing here or just you know I'm just emptying this one and here I'm going to have student any so what i'm going to i'm going to have student detail a here student name and grade okay so i'm just keeping it here and student i will pass the details as an input decorator student this is my student detail component Let me display this student detail component in this student component. I'm just using the ng container to display the students. So here I'm having students, students, and I'm going to call the student detail. I'm going to call the decorator here. Sorry, selector. So I'm going to pass the student object here. So here I'm um, in the student component. Let me have a list of students. Students. ID one. Name. I can keep INR. Grade. Let me keep the grade as. Then let me add two more students here. Two Subash John Nine to grade. So 
what I'm going to do. Yes, I'm here. I'm just referring the students and uh, I will look through the each student and uh, I will display the student detail via the student detail component. Okay, let's see. Excellent. So now we could see that one. Sorry. Okay, uh, it's having more space. Let me remove the uh, break tag here. Okay, so now I am displaying the each student. Okay, so what I'm going to do now. So since I am here, if you see that one, here we are having multiple child. Okay. So for example, if I want to access this first child component through my code, I can use a view child. Okay. Let me go here and let me declare view child. View child, I can say that what is my type of view child, okay. I can say student detail component, student detail, detail component, okay. So to access, to access this component, okay, so we have to refer, we have to refer that component after view is initialized okay for that we have to Im implement the after the unit and implement that method can copy to here so what i can say here After view init, I'm just using the set timeout here just to put zero and just accessing this student component detail component dot student dot what I can say a name. I'm going to change the first component, you know, first student component name. I'm going to say as you know. Rajesh okay let's see whether it works or not excellent previously my first student name is INR now it's got changed okay so using the view child I am just using the view so if you since we have a defined INR first but we are changing that value by means of view child okay so hope you understood that one now see i am just uh, show i am just to change the one value okay if i want to change you know all values of this component what i can do i can go with view children okay so at view children Student little component student detail list for that since it is a collection of component I'm just going to use the query list okay now what I'm going to do so what I'm going to I'm going to change the grade of you know all the student okay so it's this dot student details since it is in a collection of component I just change it to array and then I'm going to loop each and every component and say component it's a callback function inside the component dot student dot grade 
okay i can say all grade move change to 12 okay let's see that one excellent now if you see that one we could able to access all the component child component and we can able to access each and all the child and change the value through the view children okay so this is a way we can access the child component and change the value of the child component using view child and view children okay hope you understood please subscribe if you would like to see more tech videos like this thank you